April 24 to the 6 Sunday, about 6 p.m. After cleaning the shells, cleaning away the debris and the blood clots, the terrapin is given sun, sunshine to dry up the, the shells. Normally it takes about uh, half an hour of sunshine. The best is about 5 p.m. Which is about now. It's not too hot. And uh, let the shell dry up. So every day we'll, we'll brush away the, the dirt and uh, put the terrapin on dry. Because the dry dock, it means no, not so much in water. We let the shell heal. Now the sunlight will uh, stimulate the movement and circulation so that uh, the terrapin can start healing. Now, appetite, the, the quality of nutrition, the pellets is important. I, th I think the owner just fed some pellets plus pieces of pork and chicken. But uh, there wasn't enough sunlight or drying area. So the, the shell becomes wet most of the time and uh, bacteria and fungus starts appearing as white spots on the shells and uh, it starts to spread as you can see especially the big one and uh, thinning the shells so the shells the under under the shell the blood vessels become exposed causing bleeding especially in this big one and uh, that also happens below as you can see the pink the pink uh, blood vessels bleeding this one this one is not so badly affected this one is not so badly affected the smaller one although they are siblings half the size of that one and this one as you can see is not so active but you can see a dent well, at least he can upright himself now with more active because of the sunlight you can see the dent in uh, in his uh, this part my finger is this shows that there's the sinking of the of the shell and there's no good he's not really that strong enough but he still can up, upright himself so now we are drying them up and separating them and uh, giving them some afternoon sun, evening sun, about 5 p.m. to dry up and uh, to stimulate their metabolism Tomorrow we will apply the antifungus cream and give another cleaning again shell, but you cannot scrub too hard because it's very thin and the blood vessels are just underneath. Topaya vets shell rot in two terrapins kept at home in one tank, a small tank, and uh, without sufficient area for drying up or, or warming lamp. see clearly here uh, they should be separated as they climb over each other and traumatize the shells so you the big one when he climbs over the small one it traumatizes his lower shell causing bleeding because the quality quality is already no good so it's better to separate them and so let them recover it takes about at least one month to recover good food sunshine drying area maybe 20 hours out of 24 feeding only water given during feeding time uh, do it for seven days first and uh, no more submersion in water for the time being you think about a month and good food good quality food Separation 
One Bio Vets Singapore Shell Rot, two terrapins, two years old, male.